All right, so the first thing I did, uh, maxed up the lower body after warming up. Um, this is an in-season workout now, so the volume is a bit lower than I would be in my off-season. Um, again, I do a lot of masters sprinting for track, 100, 200 meter dash. So this is um, three, this is a single leg rack pull. I started with three, I worked up to um, 375. My previous best was 355. Again, the hardest part about this is balancing when you look at that top position. Uh, sometimes I had to do a rep. Now I moved on from single leg rack pulls above the knee to uh, single leg box jumps. I started low, worked up to about 32 inches. My previous best was 34 inches on each leg. I worked up to 35 today actually, so after this 32 inch, you'll see me on a 35. There's the 35. Now that with my left leg, I'm a little bit better jumping off my left leg. Even my vertical off left leg is about uh, an inch or two inches higher. So my right leg here, I missed this one. I turned the camera off, I did it again, and I got it. But uh, the right leg is definitely a little bit harder for me. Okay, after the jumps, we move on to uh, our supplemental stuff. I did reverse hypers. Reverse hyper volume is four times our speed day squat volume. <clears throat> For me, it's 30 some thousand pounds, I think. This is 470 on the reverse hyper. You want to, when you do these, a lot of people do them wrong, they get out of control with them. You want to make sure you're squeezing your heels and toes together and squeezing your butt and trying to stop the weight at the top. You should feel this in your back, glutes, hamstrings. <clears throat> Sometimes, if you want it to be a little more therapeutic, you can go lighter and just let it swing a little bit more so you get more of a stretch under, more of a tractioning. I did uh, 20 reps per set here. I superseted this with um, one of my new favorites, which is I finally figured out how to set up, set this up. So it's a um, sled drag around the ankles. Great for guys who have to sprint. 